Hey YouTube, I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I know I am. I'm sorry about the massive failure I had at the start of last episode. But, at uh, the end of last episode, yeah, so, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, it's a gym. The pedal box here, gym. Norman. Oh, let's go and talk to him and see what's going on. I love gym battles. It's time for the first gym battle already. Hmm, if it isn't done, you finish moving in. Oh, this is our father, Norman. If you don't remember on the TV, he was the one talking in the Pell Books. And this is our good friend, Wally. Wallace. Wallace. It's Wally. So, um, Wally cannot catch a Pokemon, so we're going to go and help him catch one. It's literally just a tutorial on how to catch Pokemon. Since normally you don't catch a Pokemon until way after this. So. Walking, walking, walking. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Also, I've got a list of where to catch the Pokemon I want to catch. So, so uh, Pokemon hide in tall grass. Okay. Whoa. So he catches a really stupid Pokemon here because it meets a Ralts level five. Ralts are not level five here. <laughs> so I can. I that's kind of cheating to be honest. But yeah, it's just like watching him do damage to the Ralts. He's gonna throw a Pokeball and go from there. So yeah, it's kind of just generic stuff. The thing about having a normal type earlier in the game is stab, stab, starts from a tackle. So if, imagine if you fought a different Pokemon like a Mudkip with a tackle, pretty much, and you use a normal type. Because a stab, you would have actually probably win. You will probably won't win actually. So yeah, which is always bloody good. So Pokeball, go! Let's see, Shay. Come on, catch it. One, two, three. Oh, oh, by the way, he always catches his routes. And in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this will probably be the same, so. Well, I don't actually know, but I'm guessing it will be, because Wallace, Wally has actually been placed inside the game, so. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's gonna go be like, yay, I got a Pokemon, yay, he only knows teleport, yay. And he's gonna walk off, and then, uh,. His dad's gonna tell us to go and fight Roxanne in the Whisperer Gym, and like we should catch all the gym badges. And uh, yeah, let's go. So I healed up off screen. Well, I healed up actually on screen last episode, but I quit out when I was going exploring. So let, let, let's go and go to Whisperer City then. Who's this guy in a nice specs? I suspect. Oh. <laughs> so um, he's just on about this guy is searching for talented trainers, and he thinks we're bad, we're boring, so it's gonna leave. The end. We shall never see him again. I am not a bad trainer. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Yeah. So, um, he is a weird guy with his arm out. And he's gonna start off with a six second level five, man. Get in there. I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna make you wet. I'm gonna make you sweat. So, when I was looking for that certain Pokemon yesterday, I actually did some... I killed every Pokemon I encountered, that's why I'm such a high level now. I don't know why I did that. Because literally, you're not going to struggle for levels <laughs> in this game. Well, it's, it depends what, what, what you decide to do, really, because there's certain Pokemon you can get later on which can break the game, since it's like, yeah. Also, this is Sea Dot, we haven't encountered Sea Dot before. It's got an annoying move called Bind. If you don't kill it quickly, it'll sweep your team. Bind. Uh, whatever damage you do, it, you, you, you do to that Pokemon, it'll do twice as much damage to you. So, if you do something like, I don't know, with like a fire type, and you got like a focus band, it could end badly if, if you're setting up, so. Don't want him. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. One day we might find out. Wink, wink. Fight me, old man, fight me. We were fighting Fisherman D D Darian, and I actually knew someone called Darian. Darian. Yeah, and uh, we're fighting our first Magic Cap. Definitely not the last Magic Cap, by the way, because the Magic Cap are just <sighs> Magic Cap. <laughs> Enough said. So, uh, yeah, die Magic Cap. Magic Cap, you splash deck. You splash deck, Magic Cap. You smash Magic Cap. <laughs> so, and uh, we've got a crit. Hell yeah. Jordan got 37 experience and uh, we beat Darian. What the? Sorry, Darian. You, you crap. Okay, more berries. I'm just gonna pick up the orange berries, by the way, just because, like, in this early on, it's pretty worthless to not pick them up. 
Hey, a redhead. Just what I like in a woman. Oh. So, um, we're fighting Lady Cindy. So, in this game, there's some rich people, and this is one of them. They give you some crazy cash earlier in the game, and they've got full restore, so when their Pokemon starts dying, they'll just heal it straight back up to H full HP if you do enough damage. So, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll, you, I think you get like 3k or something. Something ridiculous. I know it's a lot of money. Anything over like 100 is good, yeah. 1400, which is crazy. Bye, love you. She wants the D. She wants the D. So now we're in the Pelberg Woods. And I'm pretty sure this is where I can encounter the Pokemon I want to get. So, I'm not going to explore, because, like, literally you're going to find it either way at some point. Like, just, like, walking around. But yeah, we've got a free Pokeball. Yay! Yay! Wait, what do you to say? Yep, uh, we, cannot ca we cannot steal Pokemon. Unless you've got uh, a Game Shark cheat on, which allows it, but... Who uses cheats in Pokemon? Exactly. You caught a whole bunch of Pokemon, bug Pokemon. I'm not a fan of bug Pokemon. There's one Pokemon I, I'm actually really a fan of, uh, Ninkata. It's a um, it's a, it's a weird Pokemon. It's, it's it evolves into two Pokemon. You're thinking, really? Yeah, it, there's a Pokemon that evolves into two Pokemon. So there you go. It's a good Pokemon though, like, yeah. Uh, it, Ninkada, which we're going to encounter in this dungeon, by the way, um, it evolves into Ninjast and Shedinja. It's the only Pokemon that creates two evolutions when it evolves, which is unique in some aspects, but um, sh like Shedinja has only got one HP. Okay, you may be thinking, Oh, it's really crap then. It's really not though. Like, it's got an ability, what means it can only be destroyed by a Pokemon, which is super effective against it. So, what you could do is you could skill swap a Spiritomb into another Pokemon, then skill swap that into Sedinja, and it'll not lose. It'll not die, so. I oh, know it would be the other way around. You, you could skill swap it into a um, Spiritomb, because Spiritomb's got no weaknesses until the sixth generation, so. So, yeah, um, ooh, I just got to text off someone because I'm going out in like two minutes after I've recorded this video, but uh, this guy seems to be in trouble and there's a guy with a weird bandana on and he wants to fight me. Fight me, you almighty smiter. And, uh, yeah, he's got, he's got a cool bandana, so. Puchena. I'm, I'm just going to say Puchena is not a good Pokemon. It's in full form, it's Jesus. Also, I've noticed on uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because I'm... I'm in with what's happened on the game. They've added a lot of new items and stuff. Like, uh, not items, like evolutions. Like, I don't know if you know, in Sixth Generation, there's a, a new set of evolution line, the Mega Evolutions, which evolves during battle instead of during outside of battle. But yeah, Jordan's level 14 now. Good old Jordan. And that's Team Aqua. You're tough, I know I am. Haha. <laughs> Guru, you got some nerves meddling with Team Aqua. Goodbye. That was awfully close. He didn't rob me. So we got a free Great Ball. Probably never gonna use it. I don't I don't like using Great Balls. I think it's too easy to catch Pokemon. So they're after something in Rushboro. It's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. So he's gonna run off to Rushboro. I'm sure we'll meet him again soon. And yeah, I'm gonna go and, and try to find the Pokemon I've been looking for. Yeah. I'll be right back. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I actually found the Pokemon I wanna get. Mud Slap it. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. It doesn't affect it. Good. <laughs> so, how am I going to catch this Pokemon? I'm actually going for a Tallow. Just a Tallow setup. Uh, just because, like, I'm thinking about I'm going to go for two Pokemon again. Because I'd rather show off the game and have a, a crappy team. And, uh, wow, I caught it in the first Pokeball. But yeah, we've got our new team member, Tallow. Um, I'm going to name it Grayson. I'm not, like, uh, his real name's Dan, but I don't want to name him Dan because I'm Dan. Uh, I'm gonna name it his way of spelling Grayson as well. I think it's that. I think it's an E instead of an A. I don't know. Grayson. Yeah, it'll be fine. I always forget how you spell Gray. Is it like so the, the whole American spelling, the old English spelling? But I think it's time to end off the episode. So, 
next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I shall see you guys Friday. Uh, we shall be heading up north into... No, we're, we're going to be continuing this dungeon. There we go. I shall see you guys then. Goodbye.